Leo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of 26th of December to, drum roll please, the 1st of, De 1st of December, no, hold on, stop. <laughs> 26th of December to, drum roll please, I had that all ready to say, 1st of January 2023. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I stuffed it up. <laughs> Bloody typical, really? Right, yes, <laughs> these are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Anything else, just leave that behind. Somebody else may be actually connecting to that part of the reading that they are watching. So, what else? Leo. I've lost it. <laughs> I had my speech all ready to go. <laughs> it's like... And now it's just throwing me right out. <laughs> so, yeah. so we'll begin. <laughs> I did say that general readings, didn't I? But, oh, can't believe that. I was so confident there. <laughs> it's like, oh, now I'm going to get the giggles. Right, Leo. Ooh, ooh. What? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, overall. Good luck, good fortune, new year, bring it on. Bigger and better things. I think we're all saying that, but um, that could be what's in store. Love it. Hope that's for all of you. Past energies. You've had a bit of a battle in the past when it comes to love. You've got the Five of Swords, the Prince of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Um, it may be a case of wanting to offer love to someone, but you've kind of been banging your head against a brick wall how to go about this, and it just needed to take a step back. Whether if it's walking away from a battle, that is a victory in itself, but so is staying and fighting for something or someone. But you do at times need space, time for yourself to gather your thoughts, to breathe, just to do some healing here. But I feel like there has been a bit of a battle in the past around some love relationship. Wow. Present energies though, love this. Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords. Clearing the crap out from the past. And this crap in the past may be deceiving energy, gossip, backstabbing. It is saying, watch your back. You are celebrating a fresh new start, a new beginning, right in the core of your reading. New day, new week, new month, and new year. 2023, bring it on. Bring that bigger and better things on right there. But you are celebrating. Maybe celebrating New Year's, but... Um, there is celebration here. Future energies. Love the two, the chariot and the universe. And then you get the five of pentacles. It's like, what the hell? Where did this come from? But things are moving forward. They are progressing. Things are balancing out. That chariot could be dealing with a cancer. And things are moving at the right moment, at the right time. That wheel of fortune, maybe this is that right moment for things to start to turn and work, hopefully, in your favor. And then you have this five of pentacles. We do clarify everything shortly. Something or someone that does feel out of reach, possibly feeling left out in the cold, ghosted, blocked here. Um, as I said, we will clarify everything, but I'm not sure why that has showing up when things look pretty damn good I'm going to say but we'll start clarification overall Leo wheel of fortune bring that on four of swords four of cups knight of swords slow down Yes, it's a whole new year that's beginning, but let things begin naturally here, not forcing the issue. You're very stubborn, you're very focused on one cup in particular, whether it's something, someone or somewhere, but it's taking up all your focus. And it is just shifting that around, so you can see what else is on offer beside you, but that means slowing things down to be able to have that um, peripheral, is that the word, vision, of what else is happening around you and take the time that you need. 
Why are you trying to rush things, Leo? Wow. So past energies, five of swords, queen of cups, justice, four of pentacles, sweet justice, couldn't have come at a better time. And this is in the past here, whether it's a legal battle you've been through, something financial, it doesn't have to be. Legal battles, you know how long they take to go through though. But I feel like finally you're able to release something or someone that you have been bound to in the past because that sweet justice has finally come through. Good karma, good result. You've put the hard work in. Okay, you're in control of your emotions and you're proud of how far you've come emotionally. This, this battle has not been easy. Definitely in the past. Could be dealing with a Libra. Leo, you have the Prince of Cups. Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Lovers. As I said, there was love here in the past, maybe an existing relationship still, maybe somebody brand new, maybe dealing with a Gemini here, but I feel like you're waiting for an apology from someone in particular in the past here. Okay, and that apology, it just may never, ever, ever arrive. So it's now, as we said, with that Four of Cups clarifying, shifting that focus around got some sort of new beginning, some sort of new focus, jump in, take a leap of faith and go for it. Some of you, this leap of faith may be around this offer of love and um, sometimes, you know, it takes a lot of guts to be able to step up and make that first offer. But this whole new chapter does begin here with somebody's significance. Maybe could be dealing with a Gemini, as I said, but the Four of Swords as well, Leo. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Devil. We talked about slowing things down. Things may have been moving at a snail's pace energy in the past when it came to love. Okay, Things may not have been as balanced as they could have been. You may have been doing more giving. Someone else may have been doing more taking. Vice versa. But some sort of negative, toxic, unhealthy energy there in the past that you have had to actually take a step back from to try and heal from to try and slow things down and to try and get things back into balance and alignment here may have been dealing with a capricorn this may have been a love relationship in the past that was quite toxic and it's taken a long time to actually start to get things back into place here wow Leo, into your present energies though. New Year, you are celebrating with this Three of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Princess of Wands. And from that negative energy, from that toxic energy, finally starting to get things to come back into balance and alignment, even within. But um, everyone now on the same page, willing to share your ideas, willing to share your dreams and your goals with somebody here. But ultimately, that celebration is yours to make it through whatever that tough moment was in the past and, um, and to still be standing here. But you are celebrating. There's communication open, flowing freely, happening, and it's not holding you back any longer. And this is clearing that crap out from the past. The Ace of Swords, it is in the core of your reading. Leo. The world, look at it, the High Priestess, Six of Cups. Six of Cups goes both ways, deals with the past, reconciliations, maybe a love that's coming back around, it may be a job that's coming back around you once worked at, maybe moving back to a hometown that you once lived in previously before. Others of you, Ace of Swords, we're clarifying, clearing the crap out from the past. That past has left you with your guard up and I feel like you're just wanting to sit back at the moment and watch what's going on around you. Take that time to declutter, but ultimately this world does have your back. It's got you covered. Things happen for a reason. It may be a one shit of a tough life lesson that you've had to learn here, but at the same time going forward, it's something you know not to repeat, especially ending with this Five of Pentacles down here. 
but also in saying that that universe divine timing things do happen for a reason uh, we don't always know what the reason is but they do happen at the right moment and this be may be that right moment for this fresh new start as things that past is cleared out seven of swords leo death look at it five of pentacles six of swords starting to take action to get things moving into warmer energy here to ch always say close one chapter turn the page start a new chapter others of you may be closing the book putting it back on the shelf and selecting a whole new book here especially with the ace of swords we just clarified but there is action being taken here to get things moving forward into warmer energy away from the deceptive energy away from that gossip and backstabbing you're walking away with your head held high but you're walking away as you say away but it is into something a lot more pleasant something a lot bigger and better with that wheel of fortune overall could be dealing with a scorpio i feel that's the start of the plans for this five of pentacles down here but your future energies is the chariots Three of Wands, love this, Queen of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. There's an offer being made here. It may be a job promotion, it may be getting a job, it may be an offer on a home. Maybe an offer of love, existing, brand new, someone you've got your eye on. An offer is being made, but open your eyes. Look at this offer very carefully. Maybe needing to read the fine print if it's a legal document of some sort. But um, others of you, it just may be opening your eyes to the offer that is being made. You've put the hard work in. Those are results and achievements are coming in. But things are able to balance out here with this offer. Teamwork, partnership, working together, balancing this chariot out. And you've, you're very focused on where this chariot is heading. And again, because your eyes are open. Love this. So the universe, Leo. The Wheel of Fortune, love it. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. As we go into this Five of Pentacles, this Eight of Cups is some sort of emotional detachment, walking away from something or someone that is holding you back. And this is that Five of Pentacles that we're going into as you move to warmer energy here. Because ultimately this Wheel of Fortune overall as well for the week, picking up the pace towards your bigger and better things. Success, it's right there. Coming at the right moment with the universe at your back, but that universe is also letting you know that there is something or someone that you are able to release and walk away from as you head into this Five of Pentacles that then is taking you into a lot more warmer energy into your bigger and better things into your good luck good fortune five of pentacles leo ten of wands love it seven of swords the emperor brilliant could be dealing with an aries this whole release of the weight of the world on on your shoulders the burden that you've been carrying this emotional detachment actually lifts all of that closes that chapter off no looking back with that deceptive energy Watch your back. Yes, there may be still gossip and backstabbing, but you're not stooping to that level. You've got bigger and better things to contend with. And being in control of the situation, the Emperor could be dealing with an Aries, divine masculine energy, logical, level-headed, confident. You've got this. Has been a bit of a roller coaster ride, but you've got this. And ultimately, that Wheel of Fortune overall, overall as well as down here, bring on your bigger and better things leo wow universe says <laughs> i don't usually do this but there's four here eight of wands ace of pentacles two of cups the emperor again could be dealing with an aries there's love here make sure the communication is flowing and honest and open and everyone's on the same page there's this new chapter, it may be a pregnancy, it may be a birth, it may be a marriage proposal, it may be meeting somebody brand new. But there is a new beginning here when it does come to love, as long as everyone's on the same page and you've got the control of the situation. 
It's all yours to claim. Love it, Leo. So let's finish. I've gone back to Open to Spirit Oracle. I'll read from the book. That came out straight away, one on its own. Love this. Connect to the power of your spirit. You are stronger than you know. Leo the lion, from the pussycat to the lion. You've got this. You're stronger than you know. Especially after this past, if that does relate. You do not truly recognize your own special qualities. The challenging experiences you have faced have offered you opportunities to grow. Although you may not realize it, you are, you are more empowered than before. You now stand up for what is right. You feel an inner power that will not be denied again. Encourage the strength and power. You are unfolding new gifts of the spirit. Have confidence in yourself. You are stronger than you know. I love that, especially with this reading. Leo, if that resonated, yes. So that's what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.